if there are other universes there next to ours. And this actually relates to um, my theory of the Mandela effect and how the particle accelerator altered the weight of one electron and therefore sh destroyed our universe and shifted us into the universe that's directly next to it. And therefore things are different in this universe. In a jaw dropping revelation, the world's smartest kid has just spilled shocking secrets about CERN. Forget what you know about reality because this child genius suggests we've barely scratched the surface. According to him, CERN might have cracked the code to open a doorway to another world. But what are the arguments and the science behind this portal? Stay with us as we reveal the top secrets of the world's most controversial research facility, CERN, the unexpected wonders of the Large Hadron Collider. Looking for advice in life is normal, but have you ever thought about the smart things a child can say? It's not just about school or local stuff, think about the whole world. Don't underestimate what kids can do. Our world has many really smart young people. Take Malala Yousafzai, for example. She became famous worldwide for doing inspiring things when she was young. Or look at Elizabeth Nance, who, at 21, did important work at Johns Hopkins, creating tiny particles that can go into the brain. These young people are really smart, and their great ideas are known around the world. And then there's Max Laughlin, a young genius whose ideas about the Large Hadron Collider have made experts around the world worried. You see, in July of last year, a team of brilliant scientists made a groundbreaking discovery at this large underground facility in Meyrin, Switzerland. They uncovered three new tiny particles, marking a significant achievement in the world of science. This was achieved using the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, this impressive machine is equipped with powerful magnets designed to assist in the examination of these tiny particles. Before this revelation, there were speculations and theories circulating about the potential for unforeseen phenomena, almost like the idea of stumbling upon a magical portal. However, the outcome turned out to be quite different from what many had anticipated. Instead of witnessing something straight out of a science fiction movie, the scientists were glad to have discovered these three previously unknown particles. The LHC is a giant tool that helps scientists look at really tiny things to understand what everything is made of. The three new particles found by these scientists using the LHC were not just ordinary, they were like finding new Lego pieces in a set. People expected a huge confusing show, but what happened was interesting in its special way. It's like going to a party expecting fireworks, and instead, you meet something unexpected. Discoveries like this open up new opportunities for scientists. It's similar to finding a fresh route in a maze, enabling them to explore and understand more about these particles and their functions. Perhaps they will uncover additional secrets about the universe. The Large Hadron Collider has been a significant source of both curiosity and concern. Even during the planning stages, some individuals worried that experiments could lead to the creation of a black hole or other unpredictable phenomena. In 2000, Italian scientist Francesco Calogero sparked discussions by questioning whether the LHC could accidentally pose a threat to Earth. It was a moment when people seriously considered the possibility of this machine unintentionally causing doomsday. In 2009, on The Daily Show, a person named John Oliver chatted with a teacher who believed the LHC might create a black hole that could swallow us. The scientists from CERN later stepped in to calm everyone down. They weren't as funny as Oliver, but they were more reassuring. There's been speculation about the LHC creating black holes, but as of 2011, nothing has happened, and Earth is still spinning. Some experts suggested that if tiny black holes were formed, they would peacefully float around without causing harm. It's like having miniature black holes that prefer wandering instead of causing chaos. While there's still uncertainty about the LHC creating these tiny black holes, Earth seems unaffected. If these black holes even exist, they appear to mind their own business and don't cause any trouble, like having quiet cosmic neighbors just hanging out. Lately, there's been a buzz around CERN, and a new voice is making waves globally. Enter Max Laughlin, a familiar name in the realm of brilliant young minds. Max stands out not only for his exceptional intelligence, but also for his intriguing perspectives on the LHC. Contrary to the usual idea of a smart person, 
Max is praised for exploring how the world works and our position in the huge universe. What sets Max apart is that he's moved beyond merely presenting facts. He has shifted gears to raise concerns and, in a way, sound the alarm. Max's alarming perspective on CERN's experiments. Max is now openly sharing his worries about the LHC, going to the extent of creating videos to articulate his thoughts. The focal point of his attention? Portals. Yes, you heard that correctly. Max proposes the idea that scientists at CERN might have unintentionally opened a portal. This is more than just a casual thought. He's genuinely concerned about the possible outcomes of this so-called portal. He's expressing a major worry, cautioning us that whatever is unleashed might not be entirely positive. Max, known for his insightful thinking, suddenly changed his tone, warning that we might have triggered something complicated. That's the impression he's giving. However, he's not just talking without a purpose. He's asking serious questions that even experts find confusing. It's uncommon for someone as smart as him to question one of the world's most advanced scientific facilities. Even though Max may seem like a prophet of doom, the influential figures in science are paying attention. His revelations have sparked a frenzy of investigation to confirm their accuracy. At just 13 years old, Max is more than a thinker, he's an inventor making significant advancements. Picture creating a machine that produces free energy at that age, ready to change the way the world lives. That's the level of brilliance we're talking about. Since then, he has been exploring the mysteries of the universe. He's not an ordinary teenager, he's pushing the boundaries of reality, diving into parallel universes, and presenting some truly mind-bending ideas. His theories are far from ordinary. He's suggesting mind-boggling concepts, proposing that the experiments at CERN might extend beyond particles and collide with the very essence of our existence. This isn't your everyday conversation. He believes that these experiments, especially at the Large Hadron Collider, could open doors to parallel realities. These realities might look like ours but differ in subtle yet crucial ways. His logic? The scientists at CERN are recreating conditions similar to the Big Bang, manipulating subatomic particles to simulate the birth of the universe. Essentially, they're playing cosmic billiards with the smallest building blocks of everything. It might sound like something out of science fiction, but he's not spinning a yarn. He's tying his ideas to previous experiments by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, which have explored mind-bending concepts. He is connecting the dots between their experiments and the potential for a groundbreaking revelation that could alter our reality. It's not just about colliding particles. It's about the potential for something monumental. Whether you agree with his ideas or not, He's onto something that has everyone contemplating and reassessing what might be uncovered through these immense experiments. Max's take on the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider is like an intense and gripping story. He suggests that these experiments could have caused a serious problem for our universe, like something out of a thrilling sci-fi movie. Max goes deep into the idea of a multiverse, a massive space filled with countless parallel universes each one offering endless possibilities. According to him, we used to follow a single timeline until something went wrong during those experiments, throwing us into a vast array of parallel universes. Imagine this, our reality isn't stable, but always changing, moving between universes in an infinite range of possibilities. It's like flipping through channels on a gigantic cosmic TV where each channel represents a different reality. What's even more fascinating is Max's suggestion that scientists at CERN might have noticed this strange thing happening in space and time. Surprisingly, they might have tried to step in and control things. Picture someone realizing they accidentally messed up the order of the universe and then attempting to fix it. This isn't your usual scientific discussion. It questions the very core of how we understand reality. And the surprising part is that Max isn't making up this story. He's connecting dots from reports that suggest the European Organization for Nuclear Research has been looking into creating portals and messing with connections between different universes. 
Imagine going from talking about tiny particle collisions to wondering if we accidentally stepped into a confusing maze of alternate realities. Even if you don't fully buy into these ideas, they're the kind that make your mind spin, making you sit at the edge of your seat contemplating the vastness of the unknown. This isn't just about portals and the fancy machinery at CERN. It delves into neighboring universes and this thing called the Mandela Effect. Brace yourself because it's about to get even more fascinating, from Mandela Effect to LHC terrors. According to Max, the guy with these wild theories, the Large Hadron Collider might have caused a huge change in humanity, tossing us into a completely different universe. And where does the Mandela Effect fit into all of this? Well, Max connects the dots between opening portals at CERN, the idea of neighboring universes, and throws it all into the mind-bending mix of the Mandela Effect. Let's break down the Mandela Effect. It's like everyone is misremembering stuff on a massive scale, a giant shared illusion. This term was made up by Fiona Broom in 2009. She noticed that many folks remembered Nelson Mandela kicking the bucket in prison in the 80s, even though he passed away in 2013 after being president. Now, here's the mind-blowing part. Despite the clear facts, lots of people vividly remember news coverage, speeches by Mandela's widow, and other details about his 80s demise. This weird thing, where loads of people remember things that never actually happened, is what we call the Mandela Effect. So, how does it all fit together? Max doesn't see the Mandela Effect as just a quirk of our brains. He sees it as potential proof that we're living in a parallel universe, not the one we started in. He connects it back to those bold theories about the LHC messing with the fabric of our reality. It's like he's saying, remember those odd times when tons of people remembered things that never went down? Well, that might mean we've switched into a different universe, maybe because of experiments at CERN. This isn't your run-of-the-mill theory. It messes with how you see things and makes you question the reality you thought you knew. Max paints a picture of us existing in a different version of our universe, all thanks to experiments at the LHC. Some might think Max's ideas are a bit out there, but you can't deny he's got a talent for coming up with theories that stretch your imagination. And who knows, maybe there's more to the Mandela effect than what's apparent, tied up with the mind-blowing possibilities of neighboring universes. Many folks are pretty concerned about the Large Hadron Collider, and it's not just Max and his theories causing a stir. People have been worried for a while about the potential risks of using this advanced technology. Some have even tried, albeit unsuccessfully, to sue CERN over fears related to public safety. So, what's the source of all this anxiety? Well, there are a couple of major worries lingering around the LHC. First off, there's talk about microscopic black holes. Now, don't start imagining doomsday scenarios just yet. The idea is that the LHC is designed to create these tiny black holes to unravel secrets about the universe's origins, like taking a peek back at the Big Bang. But for those not well-versed in the technical jargon, this might raise a red flag. Then, there's the concept of strange matter. Yeah, it sounds like it's ripped from a comic book, but stay with me here. Some experts are concerned that the high-energy experiments at the LHC might produce something called strangelets, a theoretical substance made of strange matter. And why is this a concern? Well, because these strangelets could potentially interfere with everyday materials here on Earth. But here's the thing, strange matter is currently just a theory. We haven't observed it in space where high-energy particles naturally do their thing. It's all on paper right now, not something we've seen in the actual universe. So, should we be losing sleep over the possibility of the LHC causing some catastrophic event? That's the big question, and honestly, it's a challenging one. On one hand, the experiments sound pretty abnormal to someone without a physics degree. But on the other hand, these concerns are based on things we think could happen but haven't seen happening. Although the concept of strange matter is interesting, let's focus on distinguishing reality from imagination. Is it a fact or a fiction? Scientists and experts are keeping a close eye on the LHC, consistently checking and rechecking to make sure we're not accidentally pressing any danger buttons. While it's natural to be concerned about the unknown, the truth is, we're still in the realm of theories and possibilities. 
But it's a good thing that people are asking these questions and ensuring we're proceeding cautiously as we delve into the mysteries of the universe with this machine. Over the years, the Large Hadron Collider has not only sparked scientific curiosity, but has also generated a fair share of fears, both in reality and in fictional stories. Recall Dan Brown's 2000 thriller, Angels and Demons, where CERN took the spotlight, featuring the Illuminati attempting to steal antimatter to create chaos for the Pope. More recently, the popular Netflix series, Stranger Things, explored the notion that pursuing knowledge and power might unleash strange forces from another dimension. Now, it's crucial to understand that these are gripping tales crafted by imaginative minds, pure fiction. And guess what falls into the same category? Numerous theories circulating on the internet about the LHC. It's essential to step back and realize that while these ideas may evoke thrilling thoughts, they lack a foundation in the same reality as the laws of physics. If you're feeling a bit skeptical, consider what CERN itself has to say about safety. According to them, the LHC can achieve energies unprecedented in other particle accelerators. However, here's the twist. Natural cosmic ray collisions in space have been generating even higher energies casually. CERN emphasizes that whatever the LHC might do, nature has been mastering this game for eons. CERN's statement suggests that, no matter the experiments conducted by the LHC, nature has already been proficient in this realm throughout the Earth's and other celestial bodies' lifespans. It's akin to saying, whatever experiments we're running, nature has been the seasoned expert for ages. Consider this nugget of wisdom. If there were genuine substantial risks associated with the LHC, signs of trouble would likely have emerged by now. The LHC has been operational for quite some time, and we're still here, aren't we? While it's natural to harbor concerns about massive, mind-bending scientific experiments, it's vital to discern between facts, fiction, and the imaginative musings of creative minds. Regarding the LHC, it appears that the genuine focus is more on unraveling the mysteries of the universe than conjuring spooky, otherworldly forces. The Large Hadron Collider is a successful scientific project that stands as the top particle collider globally. It was conceived and constructed by the European Organization for Nuclear Research over a two-decade span from 1988 to 2008. This colossal undertaking is a testament to global collaboration involving over 10,000 scientists, numerous universities, and multiple labs from more than 100 countries. Situated beneath the France-Switzerland border near Geneva, the LHC is housed in a 27-kilometer-long tunnel, plunging 175 meters below the ground. Its operation commenced in 2010, propelling particles at high speeds to collide with each other. The resulting collisions break the particles into smaller components, and to capture and scrutinize these minuscule fragments, seven detectors have been strategically set up. Why all this smashing and crashing, you may wonder? Well, scientists are on a mission to test their ideas about the workings of the universe, particularly delving into the mysteries surrounding the Higgs boson and other theorized particles. Picture the LHC as a high-tech detective, attempting to unravel the universe's secrets. By examining these collisions, scientists aspire to unravel the composition of fundamental elements like atoms and molecules and comprehend their behaviors. Despite the hefty price tag of approximately 7.5 billion euros, scientists firmly believe it's a worthy investment for potential discoveries that could revolutionize our perception of the world. The LHC isn't merely about particle collisions, its design is quite ingenious. Positioned underground to shield it from radiation, the tunnel's depth varies, creating a roller coaster like experience ranging from 50 to 175 meters below the surface. Additionally, the LHC isn't just a source of groundbreaking discoveries. It generates an immense volume of data. To manage this flood of information, scientists established the computing grid, an extensive internet connection linking computers worldwide to process the copious data generated by the LHC. So, what has been uncovered so far? How Peter Higgs and the LHC redefined physics 
The LHC made a huge impact on science, revealing some astonishing discoveries. One of the most important findings was the identification of a tiny particle known as the Higgs boson. This minuscule entity holds immense significance in the realm of physics, and its story dates back to the 1960s when a clever individual named Peter Higgs, hailing from Britain, had a groundbreaking idea. In 1968, Peter Higgs was pondering the mystery of why particles possess mass. Picture particles as the tiny building blocks that make up everything in our surroundings. Their mass comes from the energy stored within even smaller components, like quarks and gluons. However, a puzzle emerged. How do bosons, which govern weak forces and the breakdown of atoms, acquire their mass? Enter Peter Higgs with his imaginative proposition. He suggested that as particles move through space, they encounter a thick, syrupy substance known as the Higgs field. Picture it like walking through shallow water. The more steps you take, the tougher it becomes. Other scientists found this concept intriguing and, in a whimsical twist, gave both the field and the particle the nickname the God Particle. Over time, the Higgs boson became an integral part of the standard model of physics, essentially a comprehensive rulebook for understanding the workings of the universe. The LHC played a pivotal role in this discovery, being a colossal machine that forcefully collides protons. This collision creates ripples in the Higgs field, potentially unveiling the Higgs boson. On July 4, 2012, CERN teams triumphantly announced the detection of the Higgs boson, revealing that this petite particle is surprisingly heavy, around 130 times the mass of a proton. This implies that even in seemingly innocuous situations, the Higgs field exerts a formidable influence, akin to being connected to the internet despite the Wi-Fi router being off. However, this revelation transcends the understanding of just a small particle. It provides a profound insight into the nature of the universe. It tells us that space isn't devoid, but rather filled with the pervasive Higgs field, an invisible background buzz brimming with energy. Yet, here's the intriguing twist. Experiments within the LHC may inadvertently alter the workings of the cosmos. Delving into these particles might unknowingly induce changes on a cosmic scale, challenging our comprehension of how our experiments on Earth could potentially influence the entire universe. It's a concept that stretches the mind to imagine that our earthly pursuits could have such far-reaching consequences on the cosmic stage. The Large Hadron Collider wasn't built to make black holes, but when scientists started smashing protons together at high speeds to explore particles, some experts worried it could happen. The LHC, a significant project by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, aimed to understand the universe by delving into tiny particles. In the late 60s, experiments revealed quarks inside protons, inspiring the creation of the LHC, a colossal venture that cost a staggering $9 billion. Picture a massive 27-kilometer tunnel filled with 10,000 sophisticated, ultra-cold magnets. The LHC accelerates proton beams near the speed of light and collides them at energy levels surpassing previous experiments. To grasp the scale, the energy used for these collisions is much less than lifting a simple cup of coffee. However, as construction began near Geneva in 88, some astute minds, like astrophysicist Martin Rees, raised concerns. Rees suggested that high-speed particle collisions could create tiny black holes called quantum black holes. Stephen Hawking, another prominent scientist, reassured that the LHC's energy was too low for such events. The debate revolved around whether the LHC's collision energy was sufficient to generate these quantum black holes, potentially posing a threat to Earth. Conventional physics models dismissed this possibility, but Rees and others theorized it might be plausible with higher energy thresholds. The recent media frenzy sparked when rumors circulated about a quantum black hole appearing near Geneva, suggesting Europe vanished, replaced by a minuscule black hole about three centimeters wide. Yet, According to prevailing scientific theories, these quantum black holes lack the power to engulf objects. Instead, they vanish in an instant, releasing Hawking radiation. If that's not stirring your curiosity, let's explore another puzzle that scientists are investigating with the Large Hadron Collider. Recreating the Big Bang and exploring cosmic beginnings. 
experiments at the LHC could have a significant impact, not only on Earth, but also on faraway stars. Recently, astronomers discovered an unusual neutron star located at a great distance, perplexing the scientific community. There's speculation that this celestial object might represent an entirely new category of stars. Meanwhile, over at CERN, scientists are investigating a substance called strange matter, which can potentially emerge when quarks combine under specific conditions. Strange matter is dense, yet requires minimal energy. However, caution is urged by scientist Martin Rees, who raises concerns about the formation of strangelets from strange matter. He warns that these tiny particles could propagate and transform nearby materials into a dense state, potentially altering the size of Earth. This warning is akin to past skepticism surrounding strange stars. Some individuals even discuss speculative stories suggesting that the LHC may have caused significant issues in the past, although these remain unverified conjectures. Therefore, maintaining an open mind and carefully considering potential outcomes is crucial. Exercising caution now might help prevent unexpected surprises later on. The primary goal of the LHC is to replicate the extreme conditions that existed during the universe's inception, commonly referred to as the Big Bang. Physicists are striving to recreate the awe-inspiring explosion that marked the beginning of everything right here on Earth. Their curiosity is fueled by a desire to understand the extraordinary events that transpired at the genesis of the universe. Right after the Big Bang happened with a big explosion, there was this incredibly hot substance known as quark-gluon plasma. This thing was even hotter than the center of our sun. And you won't believe it, scientists are attempting to recreate this extremely hot substance in the LHC, specifically through an experiment called ALICE. So, in this colossal machine, they propel these massive atoms made of lead at an incredibly high speed, almost as fast as light travels. And when these atoms collide, it's like a spectacular clash you'd see in a heroic movie. They started doing this back in 2010. And by May of the following year, the ALICE team enthusiastically announced that they successfully generated quark-gluon plasma. It was a major achievement for them. But here's the catch. The plasma they created behaved like a shooting star. It flashed and vanished quickly. Unfortunately, it didn't linger long enough to have a significant impact. Regrettably, it only produced brief bursts of energy from a handful of atoms. So, the idea of generating an entirely new Big Bang on Earth? Well, that's not in the cards. Nevertheless, even though they didn't recreate another Big Bang, these collisions in the LHC have the potential to unveil some genuinely astounding insights from when the universe was in its infancy. This information might disrupt our understanding at the smallest, most minuscule levels of atoms. It's akin to delving deeper into the mysteries of how everything began, extending far beyond the massive explosion of the Big Bang. CERN needs a lot of energy to carry out important experiments with tiny particles. Lately, there's a problem with not having enough energy because of issues in Ukraine. This is affecting not just regular homes and businesses, but also big institutions like CERN. CERN uses as much energy as a small city to run its experiments, and about half of it is used by the Large Hadron Collider. Usually, when it gets really cold and more energy is needed in winter, CERN stops the collider for a bit to help the power grid. But now, with the energy shortage happening, CERN is working extra hard to use less energy. There's a chance that they might have to stop their machines if they can't get enough power in France or Europe. Some of the experiments at CERN are trying to be energy efficient, but because of the current efforts to save energy, these experiments might take longer than expected. Still, scientists are staying positive and think that, even if there's a delay, they will gather a lot of important data by the year 2025. Now, let's focus on what lies ahead for the LHC. The 2040 LHC revolution, the Large Hadron Collider won't last forever it's scheduled to finish its job by 2040. But don't worry, because the global group of scientists who are into studying tiny particles is not sitting idle. They're already planning something even more impressive, the Future Circular Collider FCC. 
Imagine a massive circular tunnel stretching about 91 kilometers, like a gigantic scientific racetrack. This ambitious project will reach into both French and Swiss territories, even passing beneath Lake Geneva. Now, why is everyone so delighted about the FCC, you might wonder? Well, the brainiacs in charge of European particle physics are enthusiastic about it. In their 2020 update, they basically said, yes, the FCC is the one we're rooting for. They believe it's the most promising option to replace the current facilities. Now here's where CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, takes the stage. The member countries have handed over the responsibility to CERN to conduct a thorough feasibility study for the FCC starting in 2028. This study is a big deal because it will decide whether the FCC is a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Depending on the findings, the member states will have the final say. This decision-making process includes everything from planning to potentially firing up the FCC, and that might happen sometime in the 2040s. So, while the LHC currently holds a prominent position in the science world, its successor, the FCC, is getting ready to elevate particle physics to new heights. It's like swapping your old reliable car for a futuristic, turbocharged, science fiction-worthy upgrade and CERN is all set to unravel more mysteries of the universe as they keep their eyes firmly fixed on the future. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay in the loop with our latest uploads. With our latest uploads. With our latest uploads. With our latest uploads.